Hi guys, Jeremy here and in this video I will walk you through Go High Level Communities. If you're considering alternatives to school or Facebook groups, you've come to the right place. Today we'll explore whether Go High Level Communities is the future of online group engagement. Is it better than the established platforms? And by the end of the video, you'll have a clear understanding of whether Go High Level Communities is the right choice for you. But before we dive in, I've got something special for you. If you're thinking about signing up for Go High Level, make sure that you use my link in the description below. Normally, Go High Level offers a 14-day free trial, but with my link, you're going to get an exclusive 30-day free trial. Plus, as a thank you, I'm including my full Go High Level Jumpstart course for free. Now, this course is going to guide you step-by-step -step on how to set up and launch your business within those first 30 days. And that's not all. You'll also get my high quality Notion templates for free, including the Business Hub and Finance Hub templates worth over $900. Just click the first link in the description to grab this offer. Now, let's dive in. You might be wondering, what is Go High Level Communities? Go High Level Communities is a new feature within the GHL platform that allows you to create group environments much like Facebook groups or school. It's a place where members can interact, share content, and access various resources, including courses and group channels. The idea is to offer a one-stop platform where you can engage your community, host discussions, and provide content seamlessly alongside other GHL features such as funnels, emails, and automation tools. Go High Level has built a reputation as an all-in-one solution for businesses combining CRM, sales funnels, and marketing tools. Communities is their latest step toward an even more integrated experience, one where users can find everything they need in one ecosystem. So let's break down the pros and cons of using Go High Level Communities compared to school or Facebook groups. Go High Level Communities has many promising features, but it's important to be honest. It's not yet on par with other group platforms like school or Facebook groups. Some of the most notable drawbacks are the lack of live stream support, no direct messaging, and a buggy login experience. First, there is no built-in live streaming feature, which makes real-time interaction more challenging compared to the platforms like Facebook groups where live broadcasts are an integral part of the community experience. Then, there's the absence of direct messaging. Unlike Facebook, where you can easily DM a group member for private discussions, Go High Level Communities does not have this feature yet. Now, this can hinder one-on-one -on -one communication, which is sometimes crucial for building a strong community. Lastly, I found the login process for communities to be inconsistent and buggy. I've personally experienced issues where pages don't load property or I get redirected incorrectly, which can be quite frustrating, especially for someone just getting started. Now, despite these current drawbacks, there are still several reasons why you should consider getting started with Go High Level Communities now. GHL is constantly updating and improving its tools and communities is no exception. Let's look at some of the advantages it already offers. Now, one major benefit is the integration with other Go High Level tools. Go High Level is known for its versatility. With communities, you can seamlessly integrate your membership groups with other tools such as funnels, emails, websites, and surveys, all within one platform. This all-in-one approach is something you won't find with Facebook groups or school. Another key advantage is course integration. GHL Communities lets you link your existing courses directly within the community. Imagine having a group where you not only interact with your audience, but also provide educational resources all in one place. Now you can access courses without needing third-party platforms, which saves both money and time. Now one of the most compelling reasons to consider Go High Level Communities is the increased control over your audience. Unlike Facebook, where you're at the mercy of algorithm changes and other limitations, with Go High Level, you have complete ownership of your community, its data, and how you engage with it. Go High Level also gives you the flexibility to create both free and paid communities. You can charge for premium content or access, which is a great way to monetize your knowledge and expertise. With the integration of courses and other GHL tools, 
offering value through a paid group becomes a lot easier. If you're ready to explore what Go High Level Communities has to offer, we will guide you through the simple steps to set up your GHL community. So to set up your GHL community, first go to your sub account and look for the option at the top of the left hand menu that says, click here to switch. Click on it and this will show you a list of your sub accounts if you have any. For example, we have a demo account with a previously created sub account. Select the sub account to access its features. And once you're in your sub account, you'll notice additional features in the left menu. Scroll down just a little bit and click on the memberships tab because here you'll find the Go High Level Community feature. Once clicked, you'll be taken to the memberships page where you can start building your community. On the memberships page, you'll see a menu at the top click on the communities option. Now this section displays all your community groups. If you've created any communities, they will be listed here. Since we haven't set up any communities yet, this list is currently empty, but don't worry, we'll walk you through the whole process of creating your own community group. Now to get started, click on the create group button. A form will pop up for you to fill out. If you're unsure about what information to provide, I'm here to help you through each field step by step. So first, enter a unique and easy to recognize name in the group name field. Now this name is important because it represents the purpose or theme of your community. Choosing a clear and descriptive name will help potential members quickly understand what your group is all about. Now this way, you can attract the right audience. Next, let's take a look at the group URL. Now the system automatically creates a URL based on the group name that you've selected. Now this URL is important because you'll need to share it with others for easy access to your community. Now if the generated URL doesn't work for you or if you have a better idea, feel free to change it. Simply edit the URL field to something that fits your group better. Now once you're happy with the URL, copy it. Then you can copy and start sharing it to invite others to join. After setting the group name and URL, the next step is to fill in the group description field. Now in this section, provide just a brief overview of your community. Describe the topics, discussions, or activities that are gonna take place in your group. Branding is also crucial for making your community stand out and appear professional. Now, when you customize your branding, you are creating a unique identity for your group. Now, this not only boosts recognition, but it also enhances the overall experience of your members. So first of all, upload a favicon. Now, a favicon is a small icon that shows up in the browser tab when someone visits your community page. The recommended size for the favicon is 16 by 16 pixels and it should have a one-to-one -one aspect ratio. And you can use SVG, PNG, or JPG file formats for your favicon. Next, add a cover image to your community page. Now, this larger image appears at the top of your page and it serves as a visual representation of your group. Now you can use this space to showcase your brand logo or any other relevant images that represent your community. Now let's talk about the community's logo. Upload a logo that will appear whenever someone visits your community page. After filling in the details and uploading your branding images, it's time to create your group. So click on the Create Group button at the bottom of the form. Now this step will finalize your settings and it will launch your new community group. Now once your group is created, you'll be taken to a new tab and here you'll need to set up a password for your community group and make sure to choose a strong password that you can remember, but it's hard for others to guess. After setting your password, you'll be directed straight to your new community group. Now let's take a look at the interface of your community. Now when you first enter, you'll see various options to help you manage your community easily. One of the first things you'll notice is a prompt that says, complete your profile, which appears if you haven't filled in all the necessary community details yet. The interface is simple and user-friendly with four main sections at the top. 
discussion, learning, members, and leaderboard. Now, each section has a specific purpose to help organize the community and encourage member interaction. The discussion section is where members can connect and share thoughts. It's the heart of the community and encourages engagement. At the top, there's a post box labeled, What's on your mind? And members can use this to start discussions, share opinions, or ask for advice. On the right side, there is a sidebar that provides an overview of the community. It shows your group's name, type, and a short description. Now, you can also see group stats, such as member count and total posts. There's an invite members button to help grow your community. Admins have a settings button to manage group settings and establish rules. Now, on the left side of the page, you're going to find navigation options for groups and channels that you are part of. The channels section lets you create new discussion areas. In the learning section, you can upload and manage courses. Adding a new course is simple. Just click on the add course option and fill in the details like course name, access settings, and price. Now these options help you tailor the course to your audience's needs. The membership section allows you to view and manage participants, including searching for specific members. Admins can also moderate activities to keep the community positive and active. Lastly, the leaderboard section adds a gamified element by ranking members based on their contributions, encouraging friendly competition. Now this keeps members engaged and motivated. The top right corner of the interface includes extra features such as dark light mode toggle, quick access to other communities, and notifications for new activity. Now that you know how to set up your Go High Level community and understand the interface, let's talk about the upcoming features. The Go High Level team is working on adding some important features to communities, and one of these is live streaming, which will make real-time engagement easier. You'll be able to host webinars or Q&A sessions without needing third-party tools. Direct messaging is also coming soon. Now, this will allow private conversations within the community, making the platform more interactive and appealing. Now, we can also expect improvements to the user interface. Now, these updates will make it more intuitive and user-friendly as GHL continues to grow. If you're thinking about trying out Go High Level, now is the perfect time. You see, with my link, you can get an exclusive 30-day free trial instead of the usual 14 days. Now, this extra time is a huge advantage because it lets you explore the features without any rush. Plus, just as a thank you, I'm giving you free access to my Go High Level Jumpstart course. And this course will guide you through step-by-step -step during those important first 30 days. Now on top of that, you'll also receive my high quality Notion templates worth over $900. You're gonna get that completely free. Don't miss out on this opportunity. Click the first link in the description now and start using Go High Level. Now, let's get back to the video. You might be wondering, why should I choose Go High Level Communities over school or Facebook groups? Well, let's compare. Go High Level is an all-in-one platform, unlike school, which focuses mainly on community engagement. Go High Level combines CRM, funnel building, email marketing, and more. This means that everything you need to grow your business is under one roof, from capturing leads to nurturing them with your community. Facebook groups, on the other hand, are limited by algorithms that determine who sees your posts and when. Now, this lack of control can be frustrating, and especially for business owners who want to make sure that their messages are seen. With Go High Level, you can directly engage with your community members without worrying about algorithm changes. GHL Communities also allows you to integrate paid courses and exclusive content seamlessly. Now, this feature can make monetizing your community much simpler compared to school or Facebook groups, which often require multiple tools to achieve the same outcome. As your community grows, Go High Level can grow with you. The platform's integrated tools allow you to scale without worrying about finding additional software for each new function that you need. Now, this is where Go High Level Communities truly shines over Facebook groups and even school. Now, let's discuss who can benefit the most from Go High Level Communities. Go High Level Communities is ideal for coaches, consultants, course creators, and 
local businesses. Coaches and consultants can easily create a community to engage clients, add exclusive content, and manage everything from one dashboard. Course creators can link their courses with their community to provide a seamless learning experience that keeps users engaged. Local businesses can also benefit by engaging their customers through exclusive content or loyalty groups. Now that you know who can benefit from Go High Level Communities, let's dive into some practical tips to get the most out of it. To begin with, start by familiarizing yourself with the platform. Even though it's still evolving, being an early adopter gives you a unique advantage. You'll gain a head start in understanding its features and how to maximize them as new updates roll out. Next, one of Go High Level's key strengths is its seamless course integration. You can use communities as the central hub for all of your educational content. Now, this helps make your community not just a place for discussion, but it's also a valuable resource where members can access exclusive courses. The more value you provide, the more engaging your community becomes. Furthermore, while Go High Level Communities might not be the best platform out there yet, its potential is undeniable. By planning ahead and growing your community now, you'll be in a strong position as new features roll out. Early investment in your community will pay off when Go High Level's full capabilities come to life. In addition, make use of the paid group feature to offer exclusive content or additional coaching. This is a fantastic way to create a steady revenue stream while adding significant value for your members. Consider offering unique experiences like live Q&A sessions, workshops, or access to special tools. Strategic monetization helps you keep your community thriving and engaged. Moreover, a successful community is an active one. So make sure you're encouraging members to participate by asking questions, by hosting discussions, or by sharing exclusive insights. The more involved your members feel, the more likely they are to stay and bring others in. Lastly, since GHL Communities is still growing, regularly ask your members for feedback on what they enjoy and what could be improved. This way, you can continuously enhance your community experience and adapt to their needs, making your group even more valuable. GHL Communities is an exciting new addition and getting familiar with it now could put you ahead of the game as it matures. If you're interested in trying it out, I have an exclusive offer for you. Now normally, Go High Level offers a 14-day free trial, but with my link, you can get a 30-day free trial. And as a thank you, I'm also giving you access to my Go High Level Jumpstart course, which will guide you step-by-step -step through setting up and launching your business in the first 30 days. Plus, you'll receive my premium templates, including the Business Hub and Finance Hub templates, worth over $900. You're gonna get all of that for free. Just click the first link in the description to get started. It's my way of saying thank you for supporting the channel.